All right, y'all, we need to talk about this Drake versus everybody, the entire industry thing, because things are getting kind of nutty. I just saw a video that just came my way that basically confirms that the entire industry is teaming up against Drake. Like, 100% confirms. You see, Kanye West is now in the picture. He hopped in on this beef a couple days ago by getting on the Like That remix. And on this track, he directly disses Drake and he directly disses J. Cole. And in his most recent interview where he debuted this song, he literally says... Yeah, I teamed up with Pluto and we we're in the studio and we were all like excited to be going after Drake right now. I'm trying to eliminate Drake. I have a video at the end of this. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. But I got a couple things to say about this. I think the industry carries a lot of secrets. And I think Drake has a lot of these secrets in his pocket, as do other people of the industry. And mostly because he has been in his rooms with a lot of these artists and a lot of things have gone down. And there's also rumors that he's going around sleeping with everybody's wives and stealing everybody's publishing. It seems as if though Drake is low key a menace to hip hop right now. And the hip hop industry is inter realizing this as a whole and they're trying to do something about it. Now with that said, Drake might be too big to fail at this point. And what people don't quite understand when it comes to Drake's success is that he's supported by an entire country. This dude is from Canada, Toronto. And his GDP, like his, he brings in 7%, might be higher now, 7% of Toronto's GDP. In terms of the amount of money that Drake brings into Toronto, 7%, dog. I can't think of another rapper in the history of hip-hop that brings that much money into the city and has that much influence and that much impact. So even if the industry manages to take Drake down, he's going to be around forever. This dude has surpassed the point of hip-hop. And the thing about that is that there's a point in time where Drake stopped being an important cog in what hip-hop culture actually is. Because at the end of the day, Drake is just a pop star. And people might get offended by that. Drake fans, I'm sorry. But the end of the day is, Drake is a pop star now. And he makes formulaic music for the sake of selling records. He's not in here to use hip-hop as an introspective way to find his creative process. Or, you know, talk about his lost loves or pains. He's there to make money. And that's clear. And that's fine. But the problem is, is that it kind of tilts the industry a little bit. And people are getting upset about it. What it really comes down to is that Drake doesn't necessarily have a signature sound or style many people might disagree with me on that but to me from my viewpoint drake literally just takes other people's sounds and makes them better but you can't tell me what drake's sound is like what is drake's defining sound he doesn't have one he has a voice he has a recognizable voice but his sound is not there if you know drake's sound if you could define drake's sound let me know anyways here's that video it's crazy if you watch this far Please like, follow, subscribe. We'll keep talking about more hip hop stuff. I got a lot of juicy stuff coming your way. See you soon. How did this even come about? Who called who? Uh, yeah, Pluto. Pluto wow. called me. I went to the studio, laid that, and then we, um, you know, went through the, you know, the creative process, adding the chords, and called the hooligans, called them out in London to get on a joint. You know, everybody was very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, <laughs> we were not excited, we was energized.